This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Did you know that your internet service provider knows every single website you visit? And they can sell those records to ad companies who can use that information to target you. It's a simple app for your computer or smartphone that encrypts all your network data and tunnels it through a secure VPN server so that your ISP cannot see any of your activity. Using ExpressVPN is super easy. You just fire up the app, click one button, and you're protected. And it does all of this without slowing down your connection. I think my favorite part of it all is that you can control where sites think you're located. You can choose from nearly a hundred different countries, giving you access to content that isn't available in your region. Like on Netflix in the US, you type in Adventure Time and will not be able to watch Adventure Time. But just by quickly rerouting your connection to Japan, suddenly Adventure Time is completely available for your viewing pleasure. So. If you would like to keep your private information private, secure yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash moon today. Use my link and you can get an extra three months for free. Hello, welcome into the clinic. I understand you've come in today for your annual checkup. Is that right? Perfect. The nurse already took down your personal information for me, so I'll just be taking a moment to ensure that everything is in order, and then we will begin your examination. Is that alright? Okay. It looks like we've got your name. specific health concerns at the moment that you would like me to look into today, or just a general physical exam. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, definitely. Tell me about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And about how long have those headaches been happening? Really? All right. Any particular triggers you've noticed? Like uh, specific foods, allergens like pollen or pet dander. Mm-hmm. And could you please try to describe for me exactly what areas you're experiencing the pain in? Yes. Um, like around the temples, these areas, just there, or more towards the crown of the head can be quite common, the top, or towards the back, maybe even the neck or shoulders, that muscle tension, or potentially behind the eyes, the sinus region. Okay. I see. So that definitely indicates uh, sort of more stress-induced pain, quite muscular in nature. Definitely going to take a good look at that for you today. begin your exam with a 
general once over sort of just observing you from head to toe okay ensuring that everything
Now that I have examined your inner ear, I'm just going to take a quick look at the outside. Examining the earlobe itself, making sure that all looks alright. Any tenderness there when I feel your earlobe on this side? Okay, okay, good. And what about Just look right at my nose, okay? And we want to ensure that your pupils are dilating normally, okay? I'm just going to bring the light right here. Okay, let me look very closely. Yes, that, that looks like... Pupils are functioning perfectly. And then if you could please follow the tip, the tip here of my pen with your eyes. Okay. Good. 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 Mm-hmm. Test your hearing. I am going to flutter my fingers like this next to each ear. I'll have you close your eyes and you'll say either right or left, depending upon which side you're hearing the flutter. Okay, let's begin. Close your eyes for me. Next, I'm going to be inspecting your skin for abnormalities, both by look and feel. Just going to gently palpate the surface of your skin with my finger.
everything's looking perfect on the surface of your skin, all right? Next, we are going to do a fun little experiment where we test the responsiveness of your nervous system using this simple little mallet. And don't worry, it's nothing at all to be frightened of. I'm not going to be hitting you any harder. taking your blood pressure. It measures the force of your blood flow. How hard your blood is pounding through your arteries. A lot of different factors can influence that number. Everything from anxiety to physical exertion, um, time of year, tends to be lower in the summertime, higher in the winter time. You know, a lot of People here actually get unusually high readings because they might have arrived a bit late for their appointment and just sprinted up five flights of stairs instead of taking the elevator trying to get here on time. It's quite sweet, but we just take another measurement at the end of the appointment once the heart has calmed down and we can get a more accurate assessment. It's very important information for us to have. If the pressure is too high, that means your heart is working too hard. It can lead to a lot of different medical issues. So we want to ensure that your heart is in perfect working order and uh, not 
not in need of any assistance from us. Uh, the perfect classic reading we all hope for is 120 over 80. So, let's see what you've got. Would you mind if I roll up your sleeve? Closing the cuff snugly with the velcro, but not too do tight. Squeezing the inflation bulb until the needle on the gauge points to two hundred. Sounds great. You have got the perfect coveted 120 over 80. Congratulations. I'm going to need to use my stethoscope one more time to assess your breathing. Is that all right? Okay, keep going. Good. your physical examination, but I am going to be sending you home with a few things. A set of supplements to address your frequent headaches, and a first aid kit for your occasional biking accident. The first supplement I would like for you to give a try is the anemone.
oftentimes cause This sort of thing almost makes me excited to take them each day. So, as your physician, I think I will rest much easier at night, knowing that you've got this tucked away in your back. Wonderful seeing you, and see you next time.